What's going on everyone? Ty here from BMW Bridgeport. And today, we're gonna to take a look at BMW's latest operating system, iDrive 8. Hop in and let's go through it. So here we are, our new iDrive 8. As you can see, we have one beautiful curved display as opposed to having a separate instrument panel and control display. And it looks very integrated and very clean. The overall look with this new iDrive 8 is definitely more of a minimalistic approach. And we do utilize voice controls more often, but the voice control in the AI is better. There are a lot of similarities to iDrive 7 here. As you can see, the look isn't too much different. It's really just more modern. We have our shortcut tabs here on the left, and then we have our customizable display here on the right, where you can add and subtract tiles to see exactly what you want to see when you're driving. So our standard setup is shown here. We have our map, our media, telephone, personal assistant, weather, traffic, the car itself, route preview, and you name it. And right there is where we have the option to add more. Now the biggest difference here, just from what you can see, is our climate menu. So there's no longer any buttons here besides max to frost, front and rear, and volume for the radio and next channel, previous channel. Um, the reason for this is because, well, it looks clean. And as we go forwards, we're just gonna be using our voices more often. Uh, that being said, we of course still have our touch screen. So if I want to manually go to my climate menu, I can touch it right there and it opens everything up. So here's all these controls. My suggestion is, once you get familiar with the system, you're going to be using your voice a lot. So our voice control is still right here. So I can give it any simple command. Let's see, I want to change this down. I can say, sync the climate system. And there we have it. I will synchronize the climate zones. As you can see, the voice control does work very well. It is very responsive. You just have to know what you want to say. Turn my seat heater to medium. I'm setting level two for the driver. Change fan speed to high. I will set level very strong for the front seats. Go to the home screen. So of course we have our map preview right here. It's the first tile we look at on our main menu. Now in a car like this, an electric car, I can just touch this plug right here to find nearby charging stations. And of course I can use voice control for that as well. My personal favorite part of iDrive 8 is how integrated the system has become. Now CarPlay apps are actually combined with BMW apps for ease of use and toggling between each system. We have our CarPlay symbol down here, where I can still physically go into my phone, just as you could with iDrive 7, and go through all of my available apps here. But now, I don't have to do that. If I go to my apps up top, I have the option to choose between all apps, infotainment apps, or just vehicle apps, which separates it to make it easier so it's well, a bit less overwhelming. But if I go to infotainment apps here, we can see I have all my CarPlay apps right here next to my BMW apps, so it's a shorter process to get to something that I may need. We separate the infotainment apps from the vehicle apps because if you want to make a quick change to your car while you're driving, you don't have to be too distracted trying to sort through all the apps at once. So under vehicle apps are just things where you can make changes to the car itself. Whether it's a driving setting, whether it's a color of interior lighting, or a charging setting. As far as CarPlay goes, we still have our two separate voice controls as well, where I can press once for BMW, as we've already done, or I can long press for Siri. With this new system, it also gives you the option of if you want to have the long press for Siri, or if you want to have a custom wake word in addition to Hey BMW, where you can also say Hey Siri. Another benefit that I really like with iDrive 8 is the privacy. Everything is more secure when you sign in with your BMW ID. That being said, if you don't want people to mess around with your things, it's more secure when you're not signed in. For example, in navigation, I can't see any recent destinations that I've set or my destinations unless I sign in with that BMW ID. For the rest of the car, the BMW ID remains the same. Every single setting you save to the car will be saved under your ID. So if multiple people are gonna be driving the car, we definitely wanna set up multiple IDs so everybody can have their own settings and not worry about having to change everything when they switch cars. So those are the basics of iDrive 8 and how it compares to iDrive 7. 
This i4 and the all-new iX are the first cars to have iDrive 8, but going forwards, it will be in everything. So get ready for it.